Uh, that you run a lot of people are claiming that run a single is better but it just everything person that I've talked to seems like uh, from what they've been saying uh, run the duels and uh, seem like um, that would be that was a, a better choice it's a better reconfiguration since the cars already set up for the duels but in this particular case for whatever reason it seems to work out fine for me so uh, but I'm just doing like a walk around just so you guys can kind of see a little bit of the things that I did I added the uh, canards on the front um, I was actually gonna leave them black but there's something about the silver that just accents and just makes everything pop so uh, um, that's why they're silver uh, I think it looks pretty good and uh, the wheels are um, kind of a trip the wheels they're actually stock a lot of people ask me where to get those wheels from but they're actually the stock ones but what I did was I took off the center column and then I added a filler in the middle and I Put, added an accented uh, blue um, it's like a pinstripe vinyl stripping uh, to kind of do a little highlight and I like it because it gives it a kind of a uh, non-stock look because the stock wheel wheels have actually a cover a flat cover that covers that and it just looks makes it just looks way too stocky and the thing of it is I actually like these wheels there are 19s in the front and um, excuse me 19s in the rear and, and 18s in the front so they're 18 by 8s in the front and 19 by 10s uh, in the rear so and I actually also has a titanium exhaust on it with the rear diffusers um, I think probably the best angle of this car is probably the rear end it has a more of a exotic look on the rear end of it you know and as you can see uh, the badging on it 
like I said, this is car, this car is made by Chrysler, but it's actually a Mercedes CLK R. The engine in this car is completely different from the stock one. It's the same exact engine that's in the uh, AMG version of the CLK Mercedes. The engines and the transmission, they're all hand built. Uh, and actually, other than the uh, Viper and the uh, the uh, Hellcat, uh, this is one of the fastest uh, cars that Chrysler makes. It's uh, really amazing. It's really uh, shocking how how fast this car rolls. So uh, don't get it twisted. You know, it, it, you might think it's it might be look fast but no it, it looks fast and it is fast and also with that it actually handles too so but and like I love the uh, the titanium exhaust and like I said the uh, the exhaust on it is the whole exhaust is titanium not just the tips the whole thing so but also, too, I added a uh, the uh, side splitters on the side. I added that um, and just beefed up suspension a little bit. Put all polyurethane bushings on the um, sway bars and uh, trailing arms everywhere that can change. And put the upgraded uh, bushings. I did that as well. So let's take a look at the inside. And as you can see, they did a pretty good job on the inside. It has Alcantara uh, inserts in the seats. Did those all stock? These are actually stock seats. Um, and for some people that think that because I know there's people out there that do uh, put all the badging on their cars trying to make their cars look like something that they're not well you see right there in the speedometer uh, this is definitely uh, S SRT6 and that speedometer doesn't say 200 miles an hour for nothing not that this car will do that but after some serious mods yeah it will and it actually gets pretty close uh, surprisingly um, other things that I did in here was with the stereo I uh, did some major mods I'm still not done with that still working on that let me close this door um, kind of mounted the controllers because I hate looking for the controllers uh, just kind of make it a little easier uh, and then um, also put uh, ignition start um, so that way I don't have to uh, I don't know I just like the the push button start just something about that it's just it's it's something that's new as a matter of fact let me, sh let me show you how that works so just put the key in to start and just as soon as you press the button starts <laughs> so but anyway um, and I actually um, with the stereo I mounted uh, uh, cameras on the outside of the car it's got one in the rear one in the front and then um, oh, I got it wired up for I'm putting four more cameras in on each each corner by the tires uh, haven't done that yet, uh, but it's already wired. I just got to put the cameras in. Haven't had time. Uh, but uh, the stereo's a trip. Uh, it freaking does everything. Internet, uh, satellite, uh, you name it. Probably you can cook dinner, too. <laughs> but uh, anyway... Uh, let you guys check out some of the features. Also, too, there is uh, on the stereo. 
I actually uh, can roll around with the um, uh, with the front camera on, which is pretty cool. Actually, it's kind of a trip. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Here, as a matter of fact, change that real quick. So you guys can see what's up with that. Yeah, it's more got TV on everything. Let's see, there you go. Let me show you. That's the rear. And this is the front. seatbelt on so I'm about to, to roll a little bit so hang tight for a second Let me put the phone down for a second here <laughs> Anyway, um, I'll actually do another video with me rolling. This phone's not going to stay uh, where I want it to stay, so I'll catch you guys back when I get a chance. All right.